Oh, hey, welcome to my very first YouTube video. Here, we've started a new project. We are sanding and finishing these existing select white oak hardwood floors. Now, these are a new install, um, but the process is the same for this. If you were to be uh, sanding and refinishing, you know, an old existing floor, no matter the species of wood, this process would be the exact same. And so through showing you kind of my steps and how I do these hardwood floors, I'm hoping to be able to teach you or help you along in your process so that you could do this yourself. Maybe you're doing it in your own home or thinking of starting a, maybe a business doing something like this and you don't know how to do it. This is a trade that's kind of, um, I don't want to say the trade is dying, but it does certainly feel like less and less people know how to do this. Um, and so I don't, I don't want to gatekeep on, on, this, on this process. I want to teach you how to do it. And if you have any questions along the way or you're running into um, problems or, or anything like that and you don't know what to do, I'm hoping that my channel is the place you come to to find the answers and find the help that you need on sanding and refinishing hardwood floors. So like I mentioned, um, this is a white oak. It was installed by a different um, contractor, but that person did not know how to sand and finish. And so the homeowner brought me in to do that part of the process. So these first clips you see me doing here are rough sanding. Um, this is the downstairs of the home. We are doing upstairs and downstairs. The first couple days um, I spent downstairs. Um, and so you see me here um, with the big machine in the first few clips and now the edger, I am rough sanding the floor. Um, I rough sand all my floors with 40 grit paper. Um, so you saw me go over the entire middle of the floor and now I'm working my way around the edges. Now, whether it's a new floor that you're working on or it's an existing floor, um, you want to get the, the wood as smooth and as flat as you can get it in this process. If it's a refinish, you want to make sure with that 40 grit paper to get all the old finish off there. If there's any sanding scratches left behind, it's not the biggest deal because you are going to have to go back over it again but you just want to get it flat and get it clean. Once it's been roughed, you can do this. Um, you see me going back over it with the big machine. I've stepped up the grit of the paper here. Um, I step up to 80 grit. Um, some might feel like that's too big of a leap and they, and they want to do 60 in the middle. I don't seem to have issue with going from 40 to 80, and so that's what I do on, on the vast majority of my um, projects. Um, so that's what I'm doing now. Now that the entire floor has been rough sanded, um, I'm going over it, like, like I said, with that fine grit paper. I try and make sure to overlap my lines. So you see me here going um, a little ways past midway on this room. And when I turn the machine and come back, you want to make sure to come back, but not leave your line straight. You don't want a straight line down the middle of the floor, you know, where you've pulled each direction. It would be, it would be pretty obvious. Um, in these clips, after you find sand, I forgot when I was doing this floor, I forgot to record my buffing. Um, so that's a mistake I, I made, and I'll fix it on the next one and show you how to buff. Um, but after fine sanding, um, with the big machine and with the edger, again, there's 80 grit on this edger. I'm going over the whole floor again. Um, the next step is to pull the corners. Um, with the, I do it with a scraper blade and a piece of sandpaper. Um, sometimes you can use an orbiter or one of those uh, mouse sanders. You want to get the corners clean, and then, and then you're ready to buff. Um, you will see some clips of me buffing later in this, um, but I, I forgot to do it. I forgot to record on the, on the initial um, buffing, so that's, that's my fault, and I will make sure I, uh, <laughs> make sure I record on the next floor. Um, once it has been buffed and vacuumed, corners are pulled, um, it's ready to be coated. Um, here you see me in the upstairs of the house. I'm, it, it's rinse and repeat. I'm doing the same uh, process here. So we start off with the 40 grit paper going over the entire floor. Once the entire floor has been hit, switch out the paper, go to 80, and go over the entire floor again. At that point is when I pull the corners and then buff and vacuum. This customer chose to seal the floor with a uh, water-based polyurethane. This is a two-part catalyzed finish made by Bona called Natural. This is a sealer that um, is known for keeping the floors as light as possible, which was the goal on this one. Um, 
So because it's water-based, it doesn't smell too bad. It dries super hard and super fast. Now you can even see it kind of in these clips as I'm coating, it's, it's starting to flash off. So I pour myself a little trail, um, and then I use this pad, which is made by Duratool, and I, I spread out um, the finish. It's almost like, it's got the texture of almost like a paint pad. Um, I spread out the finish. On this one, because it's a water-based um, sealer, I'm actually going to just come in the next morning and just coat it again. So you'll see me doing that here. This is coating my way out. And then here we are the next day. First things first in the morning, I'm coating the floor again. I want to build up that layer of protection because we are going to be buffing this second coat of finish. Because they're both water-based finishes, you're not going to have adhesion issues here. Um, there's, a, there's a little bit of a different process if you're doing like an oil-based polyurethane, and I'll definitely show you that in future videos. This one, this just happens to be the case on this one. So after the two coats are on, I give it about three and a half, four hours to dry. I come back, I hook up my buffer, um, which you see me doing here, and going over the entire floor. Um, on my buffer, I use a maroon conditioning pad, and then I will apply some sanding tape to it. I use 200 grit sanding tape, go over the entire floor. You can see how it's got a slight dust to it. That's what you want. You want to see the floor have a slight dust up, and then you go back over it with the vacuum, clean it up, and it's ready to coat again. So here you see me now applying what's going to be the final coat on this project. Um, the finish I'm using is Bona Traffic HD, and the sheen that this customer chose is super matte. So this is not going to have any shine at all to it. It's a very flat, dull floor, um, but it's very tough stuff, very durable. Here you see the sawdust that we removed from the project. And uh, if you have any questions, um, let me know in the comments, and I'll hope to see you on the next one.